all living things vary. Classification is how we group together living things based on how much they vary and how they are related to each other. But even within a species, individuals vary. This variation can be caused either by genetic differences or by different environments. This video will look at each of these sources of variation within a species and describe what each type of variation looks like. Genetic variation within a species is caused by different alleles of the same gene. Remember that an allele is a version of a gene. So the gene for eye colour has several different versions such as blue, brown or green. All humans have this gene, but as there are several alleles of the same gene, there is variation amongst people. Genetic variation comes from mutation, which is an error when DNA is copied, or by sexual reproduction, which can bring new combinations of genes from two parents together. If variation is genetic, then there are a fixed number of possible phenotypes an individual can display. Phenotype is the observable trait in an individual. Let's use eye colour as an example. If eye colour was determined by a single gene with three possible alleles, blue, green and brown, and we collected information about a large number of people, we would find that they only have three possible eye colours. It's not possible to be midway between blue and green, for example. You're either one or the other. We call this type of data discontinuous and we use bar charts to show it. In contrast, if a trait is determined through environmental differences, then it will show continuous variation. For example, height is affected by your diet, your health, exercise when younger and so on. If we measured the heights of a large number of people, we'd get what's known as a normal distribution, which looks like this. This shape graph is known as a bell curve. It shows that most people are average, and the further you are from average for that trait, the more unusual you become. So the most common height for men is around 175 centimetres tall. We would use a line graph to show this type of data, as it's possible to be any height within the range shown. Height is a continuous variable. Other examples of variation in humans caused by environmental factors include weight and intelligence. Another difference between genetic and environmental variation is how they change during an individual's life. If a trait is determined by your genes, then there's no chance it will change during your life. You're born with the same combination of alleles that remain unchanged. The eye colour and blood group are constant for each individual. In contrast, environmental variation changes during an individual's life. These are known as acquired characteristics, showing that an individual can change during its life in response to the environment. Of course, these changes will not be passed on when the individual reproduces. In summary, all individuals, even those within the same species, show variation. This variation can be genetic, in which case it's caused by different alleles of the same gene. The variation will be discontinuous as individuals will have one of a fixed number of possible phenotypes, depending on which alleles they have for that gene. This variation is caused by mutation and sexual reproduction, and it's inherited. Environmental variation is caused by differences in the conditions an individual experiences during its lifetime. This type of variation will usually show a normal distribution, shown by a bell-shaped curve, on a distribution graph. Environmental variation is not inherited.